somebody leaked footage of Draymond Green punching Jordan Poole in practice. Is this the Wiggins jersey? This is undoubtedly. At first, it was reported that uh, it was an altercation. We didn't know what it was. Uh-huh. Then the video was released, and it was a haymaker thrown by Draymond Green. Oh, he popped him. Tweets. He popped him. Where do the Warriors go from here after Draymond punched Jordan Poole? Where is, to go? Where is there to go? He already talked about it, press conference, and answered some questions about it. He said he is sorry to Jordan Poole, uh, to the Warriors organization. He was wrong in the situation. Talked about it. He owned up to his mistake. I think that's all you can ask for. But we have to see if this lingers on or not. I think this is a huge situation, and Riv being the Warriors guy, I think should speak on this first. You have a Clippers jersey from when we talk about the Clippers? I do not. Oh, okay. I was ready for I do. Yeah. I would have lost my mind. <laughs> I, um, <clears throat> I had to just throw on the Wiggins jersey because I have to remind everybody that we are the 2022 NBA champion. Uh, Wiggins was fucking amazing. He's arguably the greatest Canadian I've ever seen in my life. Steve Nash, isn't he? Canadian? Oh, yeah. He has no ring. Drake? He has no ring. Um, You're really... Uh, alluding to this Draymond situation, it was really interesting because apparently from reports, Draymond apologized on Thursday. He already talked to them. He apologized to his teammates and Jordan Poole. And uh, the vid came out Friday. Um, it looks like Golden State is more mad that the video got leaked out, which I understand that part. You know, you want to kind of keep stuff like this in home because now it goes out to the media, media makes it bigger than what it already is. They start to create these stories. So I understand that. And then people like to compare it. You know, I've seen people on Twitter compare it to the 2019 situation. That was different. That was in the middle of a game. So, and it, it was clearly obvious that they were getting into it. Fans seen it, broadcast seen it. This was in a practice, in a closed practice within the Warriors facility. As opposed to the chemistry situation, for me personally, it shouldn't be an excuse for them. It, it may down the road affect them, but what, what I'm saying is they can't use this as an excuse. And the reason why I say that is because you have four championships in eight, nine NBA seasons. You have Steph, you have Dre, you have Clay, you have Steve Kerr, Iggy came back. You have the leaders didn't there. You mentioned Wiggins, the guy who's apparently the best Canadian well, because, player. Because they've, Wiggins has only been here two seasons, is what I'm saying. Right? I'm talking about the leaders. The leaders. You have the leaders there. You have the veteranship there. You have the guys, the vets in front. This isn't, for me, and for me, this is an excuse to use throughout the NBA season because Draymond knows better. I mean, he's been doing this his whole <laughs> career. He's been a, kind of that guy. But you should know better. He, he claims that hurt people... People who are hurt hurt other hurt people. people. Hurt people. So he must have been in a tough situation. I don't know all the backstory of that. Hope wish him the best, but you don't put your hands on your teammate. You especially don't put your hand on your brother. Me personally, I would never ever get mad to where I put my hands on you guys, any one of Thanks, my man. bros. If you're my bro, I have a certain level of respect for you where I would never put my hands. If I put my hands on you, we, that's the day we are no longer friends because I had to put my hands on you. You so. think Draymond looks at Jordan Poole like that? The way like they've been the talking. Bro? Recently, nah, I don't think they're bros. Why do you think? Because he wasn't his wedding. Forget it. I don't even care, think about that. I'm talking about just the thoughts that Draymond has shared about how Pool is very vocal. He's cocky, which is interesting to me because Pool has been cocky since Michigan. He liked it initially, but it seems like when Steph Curry and Clay was talking about in practice that they were busting. Oh yeah, I know Poole's what you're talking ass. about. Yeah, he was like, I was just happy for that because Pool had to shut up. I think Dre's more mad that he's not getting his extension. And he's not getting his max money. Dre said that had nothing to do with the situation. I know, but I think that's that's one of the reasons he like that's something that is upset that that's upsetting him that he's not getting his money and Poole is probably going to get his money before Jeremiah. I think that's something that is bothering him. I, I could be wrong, of course, it could not be. Think it bother I, him if Poole gets more money. Poole's probably going to get more money. That's what I'm saying. Do you think it's going to bother Draymond? I think it's going to bother Draymond if he just doesn't get a max in general. But this 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 is not a typical Draymond move because this kind of puts him in a bad lighting. What team is going to give him a max after this? I don't think any team. And Lakers. I don't think a team is going to give him a max. I don't even Lakers. think you guys would give him a max. I don't know if we can afford it. To I, be honest with even you. if you did, I genuinely don't believe you guys would a give max? Draymond nah. a max contract. Nah. I don't think any team right now. Draymond's a special type of player in terms of he can only fit with a certain amount of teams and a certain amount of system, like a certain amount of a system. He has a certain special type of skill set. He's very valuable, very important, but you, that's because you have to maximize his skill set. So Draymond's smarter than this. I appreciate him for apologizing, but in my opinion, this should not be an uh, excuse for the Warriors. They should still be 
uh, go, one of, they should still have the goal of going to the championship. A chemistry issue should not. That should be the last thing on this team's mind because this team has the, the, the main core has been together for a long time. What's crazy about this is that the last time the Warriors had an in-house problem, Draymond was one of the guys involved with it as well. He was and, the guy. And was the reason why KD ultimately decided to peace out on them. They did end up going to the championship championship still regardless. They were still able to to put that aside and still play at a high championship level basketball. But it still stuck with them. And, and every single time they spoke to the media, it seemed as if that was something that had to get brought up. Now, something like this, it's not as significant to the players because... As good as Poole is, obviously, it's not Kevin Durant. But Poole is going to be an integral part in this offense moving forward. He is one of the future pieces of the Golden State Warriors that the Warriors want to be at the forefront of their organization for a while. But you look at Draymond, and he's already in a situation where he's not getting an extension. He's not being held to the standard of... or, Or he's not being held to the same... Light as a Curry, obvious reasons. Clay Thompson, obvious reasons, as he's both an offensive and defensive player. As of right now, Wiggins is a little bit more impactful to their team because of his defense and offensive input. Yes, we've spoken multiple times about how Draymond is one of the most, if not the most important person, outside of, of course, Curry, to the team because of what he means, not just on the court, but off the court in terms of his leadership which is why it's shocking to me that he did lay his hands on Poole the way that he did. That video, I mean, listen, just off face value alone, it really looks like Draymond slumps him. It really just (laughs) looks like he caught him clean with the right hand over the top, and Poole kind of just went down. It's not. He said it perfectly on Twitter, too. He said, this is not one of those things that you're going to forget as a warrior. As hard or as, as... as much as they want to try and say that it's not going to impact them in the locker room, it's just not one of those things you're going to forget. If I'm Poole and I know that I'm going to have a consistent role in this team, which he most likely will, and I'm on the court with Draymond, I'm not going to feel as comfortable as I would prior to this incident. Of course, this dude just punched me in the face. It's it, That's not a uh, something that you just gloss over. It's not... Okay, by any means. So, of course, Draymond's one of the leaders of this team, one of the better players on the Golden State Warriors, but this definitely hurts the Warriors, in my opinion. I'm praying on your downfall. I'll be honest. <laughs> I hope this is the start of the Warriors just going down, going down the drain. Um, but in all seriousness, I think Draymond took accountability at the press conference, right? He said, as a man, you can't do that. Like you said, as a brother, look at Jordan Poole. Like, that's like a little bro to them, right? Draymond, Steph, Clay, they've been here, and now you have that next generation of Warriors coming up with Kaminga, with Moody, and Jordan Poole really being the one guy who's broken out of all the young guys, James Wiseman in there as well, who was a key part of why you guys made the finals, why you guys had such a successful regular season and really broke out last season. So as Draymond Green, someone who's a veteran in this league, 33 years old, 34, however old he is, he should know for himself, and he knows this after the fact. He said, I made a mistake. He knows that he can't let his emotions get the better of him. Um, One of the best parts of Draymond's game is his emotions, the fact that he's able to you know, represent that on the court and get in other people's heads and lift up his teammates when they're going down as well. So I think Draymond did the right thing in terms of taking accountability for his actions. But at the end of the day, what everyone's going to remember is the action of him going and trying to slump Jordan Poole. Now, Try. we didn't uh, Succeed. succeeding. Um, we didn't see the whole clip, right? It's a 20, 30 second clip, whatever it is. So we don't know the whole altercation that went down. Of course, there's like rumors that Jordan Poole was calling him a bitch and Jordan Poole pushed him. That's what in- inevitably led to the punch. So there's definitely more of the story than just that. But I think more than anything, the person who leaked it is the biggest issue here because as the Warriors, one of the biggest reasons for your success is your continuity, how you guys have done this year in and year of being able to have a family style, uh, you know, of team that you guys have, have built for the last decade or so, right? With drafting Steph Clay and all of these guys. And now you have someone in the building, in the in the video department, leaking this to TMZ, regardless of whatever, how much money that person got. Could have been life-changing type of money. But that's the type of situation that could really rip apart teams. Now, I think you guys are very special circumstance because you have the vets, you have the leadership, you have Steve Kerr, who, I mean, everyone... Anyone who knows is going to be Steve Kerr. He got punched in the face by Michael Jordan, right? So if there's anyone who knows Screaming. how to get through this situation, you would think it's Steve Kerr and uh, you know and the Golden State Warriors. But from a leadership perspective, from Draymond, who is really the heart and soul of this team, and he has a very specific role because 
Draymond's not the type of person that could hit the open market and go to the 29 other teams and get a $100 million contract. He fits the Warriors absolutely perfectly, and he has found a home here, which has led to him winning multiple championships, which has led to him being a future Hall of Famer. So if he goes to a different situation, he probably doesn't have the same type of impact. Thankfully, for him at least, this is so far into his career that it's not going to impact him in the long term. If he does his rookie year, his second year, who knows? They could have traded him, cut him, whatever the case is. Draymond obviously has a stamp in the Warriors, the locker room, the Bay Area. He's stamped there. So I don't think it's going to come down to a situation where the front office has to decide, are we going to trade Jordan Poole or Draymond Green? They're trying to go win another championship. They know they only have a few years left in this Steph Curry window. As long as, um, you know, if you come in and those guys step up, you know, the window gets extended. But at least with Draymond, especially with his age, Clay Thompson getting a little bit up there, plus coming off multiple injuries. So I think for the Warriors, she will work out. You guys are too talented. If one thing fixes everything, it's winning. So if you guys start off going 15-3, and three, everyone's going to forget about this. But for right now, from the veteran leadership you know, it's definitely a blunder. There's a brand new fantasy app. It's called Boom Fantasy. You got over-unders, player props. You got matchups. This player versus that player. That's personally my favorite. And long shots, you can win 40 times your money. And if I'm not mistaken, Joel, NBA is coming soon. Yes, sir. NBA will be in the app in the next 10 days or so. You know, wow. I believe opening night is October 19th. So we'll have stuff up a few days beforehand. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be fun because we uh, have it every night. You don't have to wait till Monday, your, Thursday. Did you get your code? The league pass? I did get my code. I got my code too. Yep, that's amazing. That's from 2K, right? Yes, that's tough. That's That's fire. So, if you guys haven't already (laughs) downloaded the Boom Fantasy app right now, link is in our description or in the caption wherever you are watching. Hey, yeah. Hey guys, question. Um, with the new M, I was about to say new NBA, with the new NFL and guys coming in, being able to run the ball and also being able to pass, don't you think that's like Matt Ryan's problem that he can't get out the pocket because he's too old? That's why. You have to have an elite offensive line, so he doesn't have to do that. And Tom Brady doesn't scramble, but no, he question. doesn't get hit. No, did you guys no, ever I just have one more? Did just, you just ever one have more people quick. support Eli Manning when he didn't have an offensive line? No, no one. You never heard it. No, I don't know if I've ever heard one person defend Eli Manning when he did not have an offensive line. All people said yeah. was that he's one of the worst quarterbacks in the league. Just, I just want to ask okay. my question yep. number two. Uh, you knew this wide receiving group was garbage when you, you walked in. How can you put them? Before Matt Ryan is the problem. If you knew they were garbage coming in, would you call them garbage with Michael Pittman and your boy? I didn't Alec think Pierce they were garbage. Right I think Pierce and Michael Pittman are fine. I really do. And Paris Campbell showed up late. My goodness, at twenty two yards, <laughs> he <laughs> had a big catch. <laughs> he had a big catch in the game. The so problem did you just is, overrate them. A no, little bit? it's it's not that. It's the fact that I thought the offensive line would give Matt Ryan enough time to go through his reads. Matt Ryan cannot go to so his second read. Do you think I don't like to play this game? You love to play this game. Play you it. switch Matt Ryan and Russell Wilson. Broncos offense is better. Really? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I believe Why? That. Because Matt Ryan will go through his progressions and hit what needs to be hit. Russell Wilson right now is not, like you said, you guys said it perfectly. He's not trusting himself and what he's seeing on the field. Would Russell do well in Colts uh, offense? Absolutely. No, no. way. Okay. He would... Oh my goodness. With Frank Reich, with at no least a competent coach? Outside the pocket, though. With at least a competent coach? It, it would be abysmal in Indy with Russell Wilson. I mean, with it's a lot abysmal. I mean, it's, yeah, it's already with, kind of with, abysmal. With, with, a, with a lot of quarterbacks, if you put them in that situation right now, it wouldn't look too pretty. That's what I'm saying. But with Matt Ryan, it looks worse because he's he not, is, he's, a mobile. he's an immobile quarterback. Yeah. That That's why. you need He needs to be like in a Brady situation where you have an elite offensive line, you have these weapons, and you can well, just Well, he thought ball. he had that, so I get Matt it. Ryan, his arm strength is diminished. There's no doubt. Oh, remember when, he, when you told me it wasn't in the offseason? He can still hit on deep passes. He can. He can. Like that it's wild underthrow to Alec Pierce two weeks ago when you told me it was a perfect ball. It was like fucking Alec back Pierce shoulder. had to stop and back shoulder, come man. Back. back. But Alec Pierce, is, he's been he's playing been balling. very well. Not for sure. All I'm saying is that I don't think Matt Ryan is the biggest problem in the coach's office where I think Agreed. Russell Wilson, he is as of right now. Frank Reich in weeks one through five is 9, 14, and 1. Week 6 through 18, he's 29 and 16. Somebody on my TikTok commented to me, do you think the coach can figure it out? And I told him, Frank Reich struggles in September. We'll get some clarity in these next four or five games. I think the cold season is not over. We will get some clarity in these next couple of games. Thursday night football, they have time to rest. Maybe their offensive line starts to figure it out, starts to understand their protection assignments, and they get better. Who knows? Jonathan Taylor, you guys told me that he gets he started off slow last season. Maybe he comes back and he is uh, close to being a rushing champion again, and I regret trading him in fantasy because I pulled the trigger on him. For James Robinson and... Deontay Johnson. Nice. Um, and maybe I do that. Maybe that all happens. And if that happens, I'll 
be sad for my fantasy team, but happy for Indianapolis. We'll see. But Frank Reich's bad month is September. So we will see going these next couple of games what the Colts really are. I don't think it's a coaching problem for the Colts right now. I think the offensive line just isn't talented enough. Every The Broncos run a simple stunt, and Matt Ryan's getting sacked. I think you're going to see that happen week in and week out. Maybe it gets fixed with a little bit over time. But right now, I just think it's the talent issue where the Colts don't have enough talent on the offensive line. They don't have the continuity there. They don't have you know the, the starting five that can communicate well with each other to stop these sacks from happening. And coming into the season, one of the reasons why I was lower on the Colts were for two reasons. One, I didn't think they had an elite or a competent wide receiver, too. I was wrong. Alec Pierce has been doing his thing these last these last two or three weeks. And I didn't think the offensive line was elite. I thought it was going to be – I didn't think it was going to be this bad, the worst in the league. But I didn't think it was going to be good enough to be able to sustain Matt Ryan to be the most immobile quarterback in the league. Because, like you said, Riv, if you have no mobility at all, you're going to need that offensive line to be damn near perfect every play to make sure you get those big plays, get those chunk yards. And if you are in a two-minute drill, be able to withstand that and not get tired at the end because you know your quarterback can bail you out. It's rare. And this game, I don't have many takeaways because it really might have been the ugliest game of football I've ever watched it was the first time since 1973 the Colts won a game where they had zero touchdowns, multiple interceptions, was sacked more than five times. Make, and you mentioned history. about the fumbles. Matt Ryan's fumbled 11 times. He's on pace to fumble 37 times. Do you know what the record is? What's the record? Shoot. Record's 23. So He's this, isn't, this isn't just a, oh, maybe he could fix it over time. He is on pace to shatter the fumbling shit. record. We shit on Daniel Jones all the time for his fumbling problems. Matt Ryan has turned into the worst quarterback in terms of being able to hold on the ball in the pocket. If he's going to keep getting sacked like this over and over and over again, like they have been, I mean, he's been sacked 21 times already. That's more than Phillip Rivers did the in tw- entire 2019 season. While the offensive line was elite, Phillip Rivers being a mobile quarterback as well. But if he keeps getting sacked like this, which I don't think is going to change, he keeps fumbling like this, the cold season for me is over. I think this 10-day break... We'll see what the Colts are made of. What's the next think, game? Who do they play? Let me check. I think they all oh, Jacksonville. Oh, again. At home. After they though. just they, didn't score. They're bad on the road at Jacksonville. At home, they've been very good against Jacksonville. So what's the, can you tell me their next four? Like, tell me the October, their next schedule, just so we know. Because they're bad in September, you said, but they're great after. They're facing Jacksonville, the Titans mm-hmm. on the road, the Commanders, and the Patriots. So this is the division right here. Okay. It's cool. Like their schedule, because I looked at it too. Their schedule's not tough. They're just garbage. Well, All those games are tough winnable. prior to the season. It wasn't. They're just not. Jacksonville is the, the toughest opponent on that. You know, less next four games. If they beat Jacksonville at home, the tune starts to change a bit for me. It, it changes a lot for me. That's that they they overcame their demons. That's a team <laughs> that they've gotten shut out and embarrassed. Against. Jacksonville being your demons is nuts. Jacksonville's a respectable team now, though. No, I know this year for sure. But I'm saying the fact that. They have Jacksonville demons for the last however many years. That's, fair enough. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty yeah. fair. But Matt Ryan, the performance was inspiring. I don't, I don't even think suspending him sends that message though. Suspend if you suspend him now after you weren't gonna suspend it before, that just sends the message that sends the message that you just because now you got caught and the videos are now you're just doing but it did to we please know for the fans. sure that he wasn't gonna get suspended. No, he wasn't gonna get suspended. Did, did, the report yeah, came out yes, said he, he was not wasn't gonna, be gonna get suspended Bob if that video didn't come. Yeah. Because I feel like it was what a day in between the Report. Yeah, and Bob Myers said it, it wasn't. Well, Draymond suspend him. is suspending himself. He yeah, said he's he going to be away. He from stepped the team. away for, but that doesn't fix it. That doesn't like that's Draymond saying <laughs> I'm just going to yeah. step away. Like the Warriors have to come down as an organization. Hey man, make a stand. You heard what Bob Myers said. He asked Steph the other day, "Yo, you ready to lead?" Steph said, "I'm ready, man." Of course, it's, it's time. It's, it's that time of the year, man. That's, that's all I'm going to say. It's that time of the year, baby. <laughs> I hope. I hope this is what really just you all apart. Man. Better hope. I do. I listen. Last season when Draymond went out. It's the worst you guys were all season long. I know. We'll be okay. Trust me. All right. Yeah, okay to like yeah. make the playoffs, but I'm not ready. To, I'm, I'm not ready for all that. Well, it makes it hard though, because I mean, if you have to walk on eggs around Draymond, you know, you have to be really careful about what you say, what you do. Like people feel that way. Well, it could impact you guys. They'll be they'll be in contention. You know, they'll fight. So that's all that matters for other teams who have no ring, no success, no nothing. Like your team. I was going to say, like, does um, this make me think the Nuggets are going to beat them? Or this, like, the Nuggets can beat them. Nuggets can't. Apparently, the Nuggets can dog I don't, walk. I don't go see to that. that. I don't who do you see think that. said that? Just look at the table, look at the landscape. You said dog walk? And who do you I think? I didn't say that. Like, this wow. situation doesn't make me think that. Wow. He said that? You didn't say that. When? In the Discord? Why are you taking what I say in there? Seriously? Don't, no, <laughs> don't, don't. Yeah, he said that. In Minnesota, too. He said that, too. 
why are you taking what I say in there seriously? Oh, see, people no. should know I don't. I'm not talking seriously. I don't. I, don't I literally know. just do it to laugh. I don't know. We can't Dog take your Twitter. Crazy. We can't take your Twitter seriously. We can't take your Discord seriously. What can we I, take seriously? I say some bullshit. Pick a side. Pick a pick a, pick a side podcast. Pick a side everything podcast. I say on here is golden and ingrained. Yeah, everything else is bullshit. Not gonna lie. I'll be on Twitter. And on Twitter, I do give some nuggets on Twitter too. Yeah. No nuggets here and there. Sneak peeks. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think Should we're the, we're one of, we're one of those few of rare franchises that can fix this shit. Okay. If it, if it has to be anybody, it would probably be us. Listen, agreed. I, I don't want the KD Draymond situation was only worse because Kevin Durant is a b- a better ball player, but the situation is worse here because it was an actual physical altercation. Dre bugging. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, he just bugging. hurt himself. I'm gonna be honest. And Golden sure. State would never won a championship without KD. Draymond said it himself. Okay. He was a difference maker. That's cool. I mean, they did win a ring do you without think you, KD. Will you before. say that? Do you think you move a mountain? Or like it's just like, you know. No, I'm just saying facts. I'm just oh. regurg- regurgitating a fact. Yeah, they oh. won two with them, two without them. Oh. That's How many? Uh, never mind. I'm not, you know what? Uh, I'm going to let him enjoy yeah. his training camp and his preseason and stuff like that. 